Hello and welcome to uh, one of our virtual visit uh, days for Zoology with Primatology. Uh, I'm Alex Georgiev, I'm a lecturer at the School of Natural Sciences specialising in primatology and today I want to introduce you to one of our former students who's here uh, with me. Uh, well not directly but there's an internet and video. Uh, so uh, Landry, this is Landry Green, so she graduated um, last year from the master's fourth year degree and, um, and I've asked her to join us here on, on, on this video chat to, to tell us a little bit more about her experience at Bangor and um, what she thinks uh, about the prospect of studying zoology with primatology and why you should, why you should choose that degree. Um, hello Landry. Hi, hi Alex, how are you? Um, all right, how are you? I'm good. <laughs> so um, Tell us a little bit about your time in Bangor. Um, what, how, what, did you, what did you start with? So you, obviously when you began your studies, there was no zoology with primatology degree. Um, but by the time you came through your third year, there were the modules available that we were teaching on, on this uh, primatology course. Um, so what, what was the um, your overall experience of studying zoology here at Bangor and taking uh, the modules related to primatology in particular? So, yeah, as you said, um, when I started at Bangor Uni, the primatology um, degree wasn't an option. And actually, when I came to uni, I thought I was going to be studying reptiles and amphibians for the rest of my life. And so I had actually signed up for the zoology with herpetology degree. Um, but then as we went through the degrees in third year, we had some optional modules and primatology was one of them and I had thought well yeah no primates sound pretty cool I mean I've, I've nothing against them um, and I had no idea that it was just going to like change my entire sort of interests and, and career studies and I completely fell in love with the module and uh, I threw myself into it and through that I had a lot of really cool experiences um, with going to the Uganda field course and going to some primatology conferences and um, yeah it, it was just like I say a completely life-changing event considering I thought I was going to be studying snakes and lizards forever. <laughs> so what was your you mentioned you mentioned the Uganda trip so this is our optional field course in second year uh, where we take a bunch of students from from Bangor to one of the most amazing national parks in in Uganda where you could see a lot of different monkeys and uh, wild chimpanzees. Um, so do you, want to, do you want to tell us a little bit about your, your trip to Uganda and what you thought about it and, and um, was that something that you'd recommend? Oh definitely yeah. Um, in my second year uh, the Uganda field trip also wasn't an option and I actually went on one of the herpetology ones because at that point I thought it was all about the reptiles um, but then I had the option to join the first ever Uganda primatology field trip um, as a voluntary field trip assistant that was just life-changing to see the primates in the wild the chimpanzees everything um, the amount of learning for like learning how to do field work was just insanely useful it was just such a valuable opportunity and i would definitely have done that module for uganda field trip if i was taking the zoology with primatology now i mean obviously with current situations i don't know whether uganda is going to be an option but um at the minute anyway but it's definitely something i would recommend if students have the opportunity to go hopefully next year yes um yeah fingers crossed as soon as, as, soon as we can travel again um i hope um, so you you um, you finished your degree last year. Um, you did a really uh, cool dissertation on. Um, well, actually, you did your fourth year master's uh, project uh, looking at um, Ebola and how that relates to the distribution of primates with um, various sort of geographic data sets and um, abundant species abundance distributions. Um, so you worked with uh, my colleague Izzy Winder and myself uh, on this project during your final year. Um, so that this is sort of a, the, the opposite side of you know, doing field work and collecting behavioural data in the field. Um, so would you like to tell us a little bit more about that side of your experience, the, the, the opportunities to conduct original research uh, in primatology here at Bangor that doesn't require you know, expensive travel abroad and spending time away in the forests? 
Sure. So you've got the option of doing um, dissertations for third year and then master's options with yourself and with um, Izzy Winder as well uh, on the primatology. Um, and through that, I mean, mine was very um, orientated around using computers to do models and simulations and things, um, which is very, it's a very important part of science as well as the fieldwork. Um, and then there are other things like I had friends who were doing different kinds of um, projects with either yourself or Izzy, um, collecting um, data in the field or alternatively um, doing statistical analyses, doing modeling um, on computers and things. Um, those are really important skills that you would find very useful in the primatology degree if you weren't able to go and do field work. Obviously field work is an option in the future, um, but for uh, if someone is not wanting to go and f do field work or uh, unable to, um, you will still get a lot of really, really good skills out of doing uh, a computer-based or even lab-based if there are any opportunities for lab-based work, um, doing projects with yourself or with other primatology lecturers. So yes, statistics, obviously, and all sorts of numerical skills are really important. And you learn those through the first year and the second year. So really, we find them in, in your third year. Um, so, you know, primatology, um, at zoology with primatology, as well as some of the other zoology degrees, they do offer that broad training in, in research-relevant skills. Uh, but they're also skills in sort of uh, critical thinking and numerical thinking that are useful beyond just completing assessments. Um, um, aren't they? So you've, you've since graduating, you've, you've been able to, to find uh, work as uh, sort of data related managing in a, in, a, in a company that you're working at the moment. Um, so how, how, do you, how do you think your, your university experience prepared you for um, sort of employment afterwards? As you've just said about gaining the skills in critical thinking and um, problem solving, these are things that I think organisations really look for. And so you'll get those kind of skills from doing um, the likes of the zoology with primatology degree. Um, obviously, in it, as with any degree or any level of study, the more you put in, the more you get out of it at the end of it. And that kind of thing your future employers will see on your CV, you know, based on your grades and other experiences. Um, so if you get the opportunity through the degree course to go to Uganda or to do, uh, you know, a project or something extra that's going to give you extra skills to show that you've got a wide skill set to show that you've you know really shown your enthusiasm and, and thought outside the box and um, and so it has definitely prepared me um, for future or for the work I'm in um, in regards to like organizational skills even using you know computer programs software um, managing my time and uh, and then for future study hopefully in PhDs and things like that in the future. So what are you up to next what, what's your um, future looking like after you know, graduating from a zoology degree in Bangor? So I've taken a bit of a year out from um, my degree and during that time I've done some ecological consultancy work um, which mostly focused around bats. Um, I'm currently working in a um, international college and then I'm hoping all being well in October to start a PhD. Um, bit different it's very focused on bats so not primates um, so not to be expected considering I've gone from reptiles to primates now bats um, but a lot of the, um, the things that I have learned from my degree specifically the final two years of my degree third year and then my master's year which for me were primate focused um, have all come in so handy in getting me to this point and, and will be really valuable um, research skills and, and even statistics and critical thinking all of that um, which you really do build up um, in the later years of your degree um, will all hopefully put me in good stead um, for starting this PhD. Oh, congratulations on, on your PhD this is really exciting. Um, yeah. it's mammals at least so you're, you're staying with mammals um, <laughs> so that, that's, that's a win. Um, so um, you also you mentioned the various consultancy work um, but you've also been involved with some of my own research uh, uh, recently with the Zanzibar Red Colobus project, where we've we've collected uh, various spatial data um, in the field and with some collaborators. Uh, and you've actually been able to sort of help out as a volunteer research assistant to work with some of those analyses that we're currently sort of in the works of, of getting to, to uh, publication. 
Um, so do you want to say something about how those skills that you, you sort of picked up along your degree helped you sort of being in a position now that you're actually involved in working on publications for, um, for journals? Sure. So, as I said, with my, uh, or as we've discussed with my masters, um, a lot of that was uh, very desk based. So I used a lot of GIS, which is geographic information systems. Um, so, you know, using locations and a lot of map work and, and that just to try and simplify it. Um, and I used um, primate locations um, through that um, and then Ebola uh, to, you know, create some models to find out how primates can um, hopefully find out, although it wasn't primates in the end, how primates could have influenced Ebola transmission. Um, but um, those skills in using the different computer systems that I used through that have really helped um, in when I said to yourself, you know, do you have anything I can get involved in just to stay in the loop? Um, and they've really come in really handy um, for um, doing the work that I've been doing with yourself and, and all the collaborators at the, uh, the Zanzibar Red Colobus project. Um, and through that, I've been working with a variety of people, some of whom I, I've known, like yourself and some of your other students, and some people that I've only just met or have never met and have been collaborating with sort of, um, distantly but we've all been working together and that was another big part I found of the zoology degrees at Bangor is teaching you teamwork and um, being able then to put that into effect uh, and into practice in doing this kind of collaborative research and um, and also think that research skills that you learn throughout your degree and as I said in the final year or two of your degree you really focus on the research side of it and the critical thinking and um, problem solving and that has all really come into effect um, for helping out with and doing the analysis that I've been doing um, on the voluntary basis with yourself and the rest of the project. So in, in, so in summary, you kind of recommend doing a zoology degree at Bangor University and zoology with primatology in particular on a scale of 1 to 10, maybe? Oh yeah, if on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 out of 10, 11 if I could give it 11. If the primatology degree had been an option, um, I would like to think I would have done it. Um, definitely if I was to be able to go back now and do another degree at Bangor, I would be picking the zoology with primatology degree. Um, but uh, I do think it is really important to keep your options open as you progress. So if you don't pick the zoology with primatology, but you think in as you go through your degree, oh, I really like the sound of that. And they get to do cool stuff like go to Uganda, you know, keep your options open and, you know, like explore opportunities that you might may not have previously thought about. Uh, that's what I did with the primatology module. And, um, and, and I've just, you know, I've just done so many cool things through that. So I definitely would recommend it. Well, that's excellent news. A completely unprompted and, and, and unscripted uh, interview today with, with Landry. <laughs> Thanks so much uh, for, for chatting. Um, and, and, and really, yeah, best of luck with quarantine and uh, pandemic and your PhD in October. Thank you. Stay safe, everyone. Bye. Bye.